turn in the book of Job. Amen. Um, let's go to the Old Testament for, for a minute. I want to I wanna talk about something that I talked about before. But, and the reason why is because, uh, and you'll see in a minute. Turn to Job. 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 Mm -hmm. In the Old Testament, Job. Uh, Job, the first chapter. Job 1. Uh, Job 1, beginning at the sixth verse. Sixth verse. Are we there yet? Job 1 and 6. And it reads like this. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. <clears throat> and Satan came also among them. Can I say that part again? And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, and perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and ensueth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. Let's go over to the New Testament. Let's go over all the way to First Peter. First Peter 5 and 8. First Peter 5 and 8. First Peter 5 and 8. Are we there? Okay, well, y'all come on. It reads like this. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. I want to talk to you this morning, as I've stated before, I was, I was given a series to do a while back, and I want to start the series again, because the devil is still on the loose. Amen? The devil is still acting a fool. But what I want to tell you, and I want to remind you this morning, is that the devil is not your friend. Amen? I said the devil is not your friend. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you again asking you, O oh God, to purge my mind and my heart and put your word deeper down in me. Use my lips to speak your word my mind to think your word and my heart to harbor your word in the name of Jesus. And then I pray that you would touch the ears of your people that they may hear definitely what the spirit saith unto the church. Help us to be better and stronger against the attacks of the enemy. Help us to make it in the name of of Jesus Christ and we shall forever give your name the glory and the praise amen and amen you may be seated
Hallelujah. Glory to God. I had to pull out my cell phone this morning because I have this app that talks about a lot of local news. Amen. And the problem that I'm having with a lot of the local news is that it's not all good. Amen. How many of you watch the news on a daily basis? Morning, noon, night, anybody watch the news? If you're not watching the news, you need to really watch the news. Or get you a newspaper <laughs> and, and, and see what is going on in our world and in the local community. This morning, amen, as I was looking, and the last few days as I was looking, uh, there were some headlines that hit in the DFW area alone. I'm not even going to talk about other states and around the country. Garland firefighters and two sons arrested for drugs. Firefighter. And his sons arrested for drug possession. 28-year-old man killed last night in a club. Four were shot. One died. Three women got shot. And in the hospital this morning. Body found hanging from a tree in South Dallas ruled a homicide, a suicide, I'm sorry, suicide. Hmm. Arlington road rage murderer remains unsolved. Just the DFW. Y'all see where I'm going? Now, tell your neighbor the devil really ain't your friend. Mm -hmm. Now, not to mention what happened last Sunday. The massacre in the house of God. People there worshiping, praising God. And here comes the devil. I know they don't want to tell you that it was the devil, but it was. It was the blatant act of Satan to walk into the house of God and shoot people dead, unborn babies, children, women, men. It didn't matter their age. It didn't matter the ethnicity. It didn't matter. The devil do not care because he's not your friend. I don't know about you, but I was heart struck. Got out of church. We had a good time. And I think I had already told y'all that it's, it's time out for playing church. We, 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 we got to come to the house of God being for real and, and, and that the spirit of the living God is not in most churches. That's why I strive, y'all, to, to make sure that this place is covered under the auspices of the Holy Ghost. The devil is not allowed to just walk in here and do what he wants to do. And I pray that every demon and every devil that comes to try to harm us will drop dead at the door. That's my prayer. You probably say, yeah, you crazy. People. No. You want to hurt me and our people? No, devil, you going to die first. And I mean what I say. Hallelujah. Now, y'all pray for me, but that's the way I am. I'm not afraid of the enemy and it's real it's really really known that you know he don't like me and I don't like him amen and I've told y'all before you've got to get a healthy dose of hatred 
for the devil. Because if you don't, you are going to tolerate whatever he brings your way. And you better tell the devil and call him what he is, a liar. You're not going to wreak havoc here or nowhere in my life. Hallelujah. So this morning, I endeavor to expose our enemy. He is the enemy of our souls. And God is his arch enemy. <laughs> he hates God and he hates you. I'm telling you right now, you, you, you keep on playing with him. He going to show you. He going to laugh at you. Find yourself in a bind that you can't get yourself out of. He going to sit back and fold his arms and yeah. Got that sucker. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, and I'm going to tell you how diabolical he is. He'll talk you into it. And as soon as you got yourself wrapped up in it and can't get out, he'll step back. And he's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got you. But it appears that, that, that most of us, not all of us, most of us take it for granted that life is without consequences. Or we don't even count up the costs for the wrong that we do in this life. Mm -hmm. We just do it and think everything is going to be all right. But I hear the Bible says, be not deceived. For God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And, and if you reap to this flesh, yeah, you're going to, you're going to, if you sow to this flesh, you're going to reap to this flesh. Mm -hmm. You keep, keep sowing and sowing into your flesh. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I, I try to make a point and tell folk, you know, you got to quit smoking. Because mm -hmm. those 19 poisons that, that's inside that one cigarette, they're going to catch up with you one day. Amen? And, and, and you keep sowing all that stuff in your lungs and your, you know, and your esophagus and all of that. And then you, 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 want, you get saved and then, now you want the Lord to heal you. Be not deceived. God is what what you sow, you got. You may have gotten saved, but you still gonna reap some things. Oh, y'all, y'all show is quiet. Y'all quiet up in here. I'm telling you, the reason why some of us is going through some stuff, even though we don't come on the Lord's side, is because we reaping what we sowed in the world. <laughs> y'all may not like that, but it's the truth, anyhow. Mm -hmm. Life has not been easy for the most of us in this room. We've had to fight. We've had to cry. We've had to endure turmoil, deep frustration for many years, and, and it seems to not get any better. Perhaps you came from a family that did not know of the finer things in life, and and, and, it was, and it was passed down to you and, and you uh, perpetuated it and, and you asked the question, why? why? Why am I broke? Why am I always sick? Why, why it does it seem like I can't, you know, get over the hump, Sister Beverly? Why, why, why am I having these problems? Why? Because I want to tell you that there has been a demon, a devil that has been in your family lineage since the day your family got started. Mm -hmm. He has wreaked havoc for eons of years. The devil knew you when you were born. He was a demon was a sign to your life to curse you and to put you in the same boat or in the same predicament that your family is in or that they came out of. 
because when they 